In the first video on blocking out dark stump shades, uh, we talked about using the framework mode to create a coping to block out the dark stump shade. Now the advantage of doing it this, this way is it's very quick and easy. Uh, there's no design whatsoever. Uh, the disadvantage is we have to actually re-image the tooth to create the veneering structure or crown over the framework or coping. In the second example, I'm going to show you how to do a technique where you can actually have one design that creates the framework and the overlay. Now, when I would use this technique would be in a scenario, for instance, if it was a really deep PFM I was replacing, and I wanted to raise the margin a la Pascal Manier and uh, create a margin that's closer to the gingiva where I can bond safely and uh, not have any cement problems uh, with cleanup. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do single restoration. It's going to be biogeneric. In this case, we're going to do biogeneric copy, and we're going to do multi-layer. We're going to do it on tooth number eight. The veneering structure, what, the veneering structure is going to be my final crown. We're going to do that out of Emacs. This can be an Emacs HT and Emacs LT. The framework is also going to be out of Emacs, but we're going to do this out of an Emacs MO or medium opacity. And we'll hit OK. We'll go to the model. Now when we draw the margin on this tooth, we're actually going to draw the margin on the true margins. Uh, in the framework video, I showed you an example of actually drawing the margin uh, a little bit short. But we're going to draw the margin on the true margin. Okay. Define the insertion axis. We'll hit OK. We're actually going to draw a copy line in this case. We're going to biocopy. Uh, we can do biogeneric or biocopy. Either one will work. And here's my biocopy line drawn. And then we'll go ahead and move forward and we'll get our parameters. Now whenever we do a multi-layer, we have both top layer and bottom layer parameters. Just consider your top layer, layer parameters, whatever you would have for normal crown. So I'll quickly just go ahead and set my normal crown parameters. Now we'll go to the bottom layer parameters. Now generally I, I like my bottom layer parameters uh, to be a little bit different because in these very deep situations where we're creating this multi-layer restoration, I, I'm probably going to cement uh, with resin modified glass cyanomer the coping. So I want my spacer to be a little bit tighter because we want uh, it to be a tight fit, we're not bonding it. The minimal thickness, again I like it to be a little bit lower. margin thickness, telescope angle, it looks good, and we'll go ahead and hit OK, and what, what will appear up here is just a typical biogeneric crown, excuse me, a biogeneric copy crown. Okay, so here's my biogeneric copy crown. Uh, normally I would be doing nine at the same time, I'm just doing it on one tooth uh, for an example. So you would go ahead and you would finish up your design. I'm not going to monkey with it too much. You might want to obviously fix that midline here. And once your design is complete, whether it's biogeneric copy, biogeneric, or biogeneric reference, uh, once it's complete, we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click and we're going to tell the restoration to split. Okay, this is going to create the multi-layer restoration. And as soon as we click this, a green line is going to come up. Okay. Now these scenarios, this green line, let's say we are, we're really, really deep, this green line we want to keep somewhere at the level of the tissue. In this example it's a little bit skewed, but it, it'll serve as a good example to make sense on what we're doing. So I usually just generally keep the green line where it's at for my initial, initial split. We'll go ahead and hit apply and get the split. Okay, so now we created both a framework like we did in the previous video and an overlay. Okay, now this one, this one restoration or this one design will mill out both. You'll notice down here in the dock bar it says 8-8. That signifies that we've got a split with both a veneering structure, a crown, and a framework. Now, uh, back to that example at hand, if we were doing a restoration that was very, very deep and we wanted to raise the margin, so the, mar the true margin of where our final porcelain is going to be is at the margin or just barely subgingival in an area where we can easily clean up the bonding, uh, we can actually right click, go to the scale, we can click scale occlusal hole, and we actually can raise that margin up and down depending on where, how deep it is and where the level of the tissue is at. 
So it's a very little helpful technique uh, in those scenarios where you run into where not only do you need to block out a dark stump shade, but you've also got a restoration that's very, very deep. Uh, this typically happens when replacing PFMs. So this would be the second way, and the easier way of the two would be creating a multi-layer restoration with a framework and an overlay.